In this video, we're going to be sharing with you how to utilize our fully automated Photoshop templates just with Photoshop. Now, for those of you who have never worked with our templates or never worked with Pixel Creator Pro, this is a great opportunity for you to download an entire album and try the templates out for yourself because they really are unique in the industry. No one else has this type of automation. So let's go here into Adobe Bridge and take a look at the templates. Now, once you've downloaded the templates to your computer, you unzip the file, and this is basically what you're going to see. You're going to see a series of JPEG images as well as a series of JSX files. These are programmed JavaScript files that work with Photoshop. And they're super simple to use. All we simply need to do is once we locate a template we like, is simply double click on that template and it'll be created in Photoshop. It doesn't get much easier than that. And you can see over in the layers palette all the individual layers for this layout being created. Now once it's finished creating it, we get a dialog box asking us if we want to insert images into the template. If we choose yes, it'll go through the process of allowing us to insert our images. Now from here, this is the next dialog we get. It says use bridge to select image. Now you notice that one of the images has turned red. That indicates to us what image opening is going to be populated. So what I would do is I would come into bridge before accepting yes, no, skip or delete. Come into bridge, actually go and select an image and then back over here in Photoshop choose yes and that image that I selected in bridge will be opened resized and positioned into my layout. It will then pause, allow me to position the image within the opening exactly the way I'm looking for. And then once it's done that, I go ahead and hit enter and it moves on to the next image opening if there is one, which of course in this case there is. So it'll ask me, do I want to use bridge again? And again, before choosing yes, no, skip or delete, I would come into bridge and select another image and then choose yes. And it'll go ahead and drop that image in place. And just that easily we can create a beautiful album page with very very little effort whatsoever. And so that's how all of our templates function. Just exactly that same way. Now What's also unique about our templates is the templates, this particular album, when I created this album for my fiance, this particular album was created for an 11 by 14 iBind Design album. And if you've never checked out iBind Designs, you can go to www.ibinddesigns.com. Um, but it doesn't matter because I can just come into Photoshop and just create a blank page. So for example, if I do a 20 by 10, Okay, and then come back in and cho I'll choose a different template here. Whatever page size I have, I have open, that template is automatically going to scale to. So when I choose yes, you'll notice I get the same dialog box and I get the same prompt. Now what's also interesting is I can actually come in here and I can select three images. So we'll go one, two, three images here in Bridge. And then I'll back over here in Photoshop when I choose yes, all three images will be populated. Just one right after another. It's going to place that first image, allow me to position it. As soon as I hit return or enter, it moves right onto the next image opening with my next image. And just that easily, we can create a beautiful looking layout, like I said, with very, very little effort whatsoever. And then maybe what I'll do here is I'll grab my eyedropper tool, sample a color from the umbrella, come to my background layer, and fill it in. And now you can see we have a nice purple spacing between those images to kind of go with the images. So creating layouts is super simple. Now, let me show you another thing. Let's go with a five by seven document. Okay, so we're doing a seven by five. We're going to do a little graduation announcement. But guess what? I'm going to go back in and use that exact same template. Doesn't matter. Because all the image openings will be resized to fit. I'll say yes. 
And now you can see we have the exact same result. So if I come back in here, let me go ahead and go, switch over to a different folder of images here. Say yes. And we'll go ahead and drop in those images. So you can see what kind of flexibility the templates have. So no matter what we're designing, those templates will automatically scale to fit that page size. And we just reposition the images as we go. And that's all there is to it. Now, I also get the question a lot, what if I wanted a particular image in a particular opening? Well, of course, in Pixel Creator Pro, we have a swap image feature, which will just kind of flip-flop the images around. But if we knew, for example, we wanted this one here on the right to be the image for the middle, what we would do is in Bridge here, we would just position that image first. And then when we ran the template, of course, then it would be inserted in that order. So if I come back in here to Photoshop and I delete all the image openings and we'll, we'll go back in and grab that same template and we'll come back in here and grab these images and then choose yes to insert them then it'll go ahead and insert those images in the order that we had selected so then that one image will, that will be will be right in the middle So now that image is right in the middle, right where we wanted it. So it's real easy because all of our templates populate from left to right, top to bottom. So it is generally pretty straightforward to guess how the template's going to be populated. And that's it. So I hope you enjoy this free collection of templates. And I hope you... Um, find some good use for them and we'd be interested to see what you create with them as well. So thanks for watching.